quickly he becomes one of, if not the, most influential Polish leader in Amsterdam, the leader of the Polish community. He's one of the founders of the PNA. He's one of the founders of the Polish Bank. He starts a pharmacy, which ends up being Krupsak's pharmacy. He starts a furniture store, which is Wittrall's Furniture. He starts a coal and oil company called MJ Wittrall Coal and Oil. He buys a lot of what is now Church Street, you know, Upper Church Street, and during the dark days of the Depression, sells off little bits to keep the family going. He also becomes very active in politics. My thought is that Michael Wittrall is sort of, and if you're familiar with Albany history at all, he's sort of the Dan O'Connell <coughs> of Amsterdam. Dan O'Connell was the Irish backer of the WASP mayor of Albany, Erastus Corning. I mean, they, they mentioned how Mayor Corning was elected all this time, um, many, many times longer than any other mayor, but he was not of an ethnic group that, had, that carried a lot of weight you know, in terms of voting. So he was, but Corning was backed by this Irish guy, Dan O'Connell. Similarly, there's an Englishman named Arthur Carter, who was actually born in England, uh, born in Kidderminster, which I believe is where the Shuttleworths came from, and certainly where a lot of the, the old Brits came from. And actually, if I'm speaking nastily,